moment, I decided to at least try and change. Because I owe it to them. I owe it to everyone I love. I hope it will. Thank you. Yo, 60 days, no small feet. Thanks. Very moving share. Thank you. Can I ask you something? How'd you survive that OD? What do you mean? I mean, somebody had to save your life, right? It's my sister. Oh, man. Older or younger? Younger. Um, I have to get home, like so... Like 12, 13? I don't really understand what the point. Curiosity. Yeah, she was 13. That's some heavy shit. Hey, we all done some bad shit in our lives, right? Comes with the territory. But man, now you just got me thinking about what that does to a 13-year-old, a 13-year-old kid who finds her big sister overdosed. What that moment was due to somebody. How it affects the rest of their lives, you know? How it affects their ability to trust. It makes it hard for them to get close to people, you know, relationships. It makes it hard for them to fall in love. Living with the fear that at any moment, the rug can be ripped out from under them and they lose everything. Especially the people that they love. You ever think about that? Yeah, probably fucked up for life. But hey, you're gonna have to make peace with that. Just like you're gonna have to make peace with the fact that you could be responsible for some shit like that and then get up in front of a whole group of people who are struggling with the same issues and lie about being clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, young blood. You're playing pool with Minnesota Fats. Who is Minnesota Fats? The greatest motherfucking pool player that ever lived. Okay. I'm Ali. Let me know when you want to stop trying to kill yourself. You need some pancakes. How was NA today? 